Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, SMW Outdoor Fishing Ventures. Well, today is probably going to be uh, one of my last videos like this. Um, the water is starting to open up here, so hopefully I can get that kayak on the, the water next uh, week and um, get you some uh, real live action videos uh, for two 2022 open water. Uh, this video is actually another Lucky Tackle Box video. Um, I got, supposedly, this is the March box, which I did not get. Um, I don't, they sent me now a total of one, two, three, four, five, five boxes in the last couple of weeks. So, uh, apparently this is the pro, the pro box, uh, tournament series. My understanding is they're changing the box to, um, not the, um, tournament series. It's going to be the extreme series. So I don't know. Um, you know, I I don't know what to say. Um, you know, I p promoted their product a lot, and um, I made a lot of videos that you've probably seen. Um, you know, I'm going to give it one more one more shot here in one more month and see what see what happens. You know, I'm appreciative of all the product they send me. Um, it just seems something just not right. Um, I hate to keep on promoting product um, for product that you're not going to going to be getting or etc. I'm trying to be as professional as I can with this. Um, a lot of things that happen. I mean, used to get nice literature in the boxes and that type of thing. I've discussed it with them, and it just seems like we're not getting anywhere. Um, electronic, uh, actually, uh, um, you scan, you scan for the electronic um, magazine for tips and that type of thing every month, and that's just not happening anymore. Anymore. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, it's kind of confusing. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's really, it's really confusing, actually. So, um, what actually? I mean, I got two boxes here. They sent me uh, one is actually, I don't know. It's just a combination of everything I got in those three boxes. Um, and this one right here is supposedly be the tournament series. You can see it does just comes in, a, came in a white box. You know, no logo or anything on it. Kind of disappointing. Because I've been showing, you know, the box every month, and you know, it's not fair, fair to my viewers, and all of a sudden come to this, and I don't show them the right thing, and makes makes me kind of look bad for my viewers and for a product that I actually um, been heavily promoting. Um, so let's go and see what's inside. I cut it open because I just wanted to see what what was there. Um, like I said, this one is our product that I haven't gotten yet or haven't received. Um, the other boxes, like I said, they're a combination of everything, so, uh, I don't know, don't know what to say. Of course, you know, again, I appreciate all the lures that they sent me. I mean, I, they treat me good, they send me boxes, bonus boxes all the time, but, you know, I want to treat my viewers right too and make sure they're getting the right product. Um, so they don't fall out. They still wrapped it in the Lucky Tackle box wrapping. I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but, um. But then again, let's. Um, I'm gonna scoot this other box down right here. Oops. See what I mean? It just. Um, it's not the. It's not the right box. And excuse me for one second. All right. I'm back again. Sorry about that. Let's get this other one down. It's tripping over that one. All right. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to take out the wrapping paper. Um, first of all, we got, like, a th this is a 3 8 ounce. Um, let's see here. Little um, round bill, I would say 2 to 3 feet. Um, pretty much even getting it. Well, depends on the line you use. This could even be a topwater little jerk bait. And this is made by um, Bait Brigade again. And that's the box right there. Uh, let's see here. Let's just get it out, get it out here real quick. It's kind of like uh, a rainbow trout type color. It's actually a nice color. So that's that guy. Uh, let's see what else here. Uh, looks like um, this is made by Arky. I never heard of them. This is a half inch, um, ha or half inch. There I go again. It's a half ounce. Um, 
half ounce uh, football jig. This is actually a green pumpkin candy color, as they call it. Let's see if we can get. Here's the package. It's that guy right there. Um, get this out of here and give you a, a little view here. If I can get it open out of this clamshell, sometimes they make them uh, child proof. Well, come on. And I, I don't know if I ter told you about the tournament that I was going to be fishing in a couple weeks. Well, um, I didn't le I didn't look at the schedule right, but there's another tournament, Easter Sunday. These are my only like, club tournaments. Again, every single tournament that they schedule this year was on a major holiday. Easter, Mother's Day, Father's Day, um, um, Memorial Day, Labor Day, Fourth of July. So they're all holidays. I'm not fishing any of them. Uh, family's more important. So I'll just continue making my um, YouTube videos, and I'm going to fish one Wisconsin tournament yet. So um, that's in, at the end of August. Uh, let's see here. And this is this guy right here. A nice bait, uh, punch in that, punch that grass. All right, let's see what else we got going on here. And we got some uh, number three odd five package mustad uh, hooks. Uh, let's see here. Here we got a couple blade baits. These are made by Rippin', Rippin Lips. Uh, these are three eighths of an ounce. It's called Swamp Water. Um, probably one of my uh, other than I guess my two favorite baits actually that I like to fish are um, Lipless and the blade baits. Um, ones I mainly use though are made by Reaction. I'm on their pro staff, so I try to use their product as much as possible. Uh, but I try to mix in some of some of the different colors, such as this one. Um, it's kind of more like that, yeah, like a swamp color. Uh, I don't think I even have um, a bait or a a blade bait like this. And which basically, they here's the package right away. I'll show you that. Um, they put a little more realistic um, head on it. I'll see if I, can, if I can get close enough with it. So that's right there. Really nice uh, silicone skirt. Seems like it's put together really well. Um, so that's that guy. So I got a ton of tackle to put away again. Um, let's see here. I think they sent another one. Yeah, they did. Um, they sent another one. This is mainly a chartreuse. They call it Gilly Perch. Again, it's three eighths of an ounce. Um, again, this is a package. Let's take it out of here and see what we got happening. Yeah, getting another um, realistic um, head on the head on the bait. Kind of like more of the perch, I guess. Gilly perch, bluegill. That's that guy right there. Again, it's a nice product that came in. You know, I hate to give it up because I, you know, they're sending me some nice stuff. And these are made by Clear Cut. These are spinner baits, three ace ounce. Um, these are Willow Blade. Uh, this color is called Casco. This is the package. Actually, I did pretty well with these last year. These and um, Castaic. That's mainly what I use. Um, I try to use. I try to use most of the lures that I have on their, on their pro stuff, but of course you always have to mix it up. Again, kind of like that swamp water look. It's that guy right there. Let's see if we get back in here. Ah, we'll try it later. <laughs> um, let's see. I think there's another one here. Yeah, this is a gold willow blade. 
Again, three uh, three eighths of an ounce. This is a bluegill color. There goes that guy. And again, I said in a lot of my videos, basically, they send me a lot, a lot of the product that I use in this area. Colors, bluegill, perch, um, that type of thing. So, again, this is a gold willow, head, willow blade. There's that guy right there. Good springtime baits. Um, try to mix in with some uh, blade baits. Um, lipless. So I got a lot of stuff to do before I hit the water. I got to get line line on my all, all my reel, rods and reels, and I should have did it this winter, uh, but I did. And I wasn't feeling well, of course. Uh, here we go. We have a square bill. This is um, half ounce. Um, it's three eighths, three inch. Uh, it de depends again as far as uh, colors goldfish um, it says dive length five feet all depends how you're holding your rod um, the weight of the line I feel it's gonna um, counteract as far as the depth of the lure um, that's my opinion whether it's right or wrong this is a package right here it's made by Phenom out of here nice little stubby bait here nice paint job I think last year I produced like 40 videos so this year I'm gonna fish harder than that I'm not like feeling better and um, gonna be starting earlier than last year Still a little afraid of uh, tipping the kayak in the cold water, but I'll just be careful, I guess. Got to get on the water, catch fish. Um, and this is more like a brown trout, I believe. Yeah, it is. Um, same same thing. Three inch, three eighths of an ounce or half ounce in five five foot depth. Same package. I'm definitely gonna get this um, get use out of this one. Um, the one lake I. I fish at Sporley Lake, and they have um, they have brown trout and they have splake in there, so uh, definitely use that one. That's that guy right there. So what I go, you know, normally what I go through my uh, tackle box is I kind of um, separate them to colors, basically I would use in my area, and that's how I put them in my well, my tackle trays or not tackle boxes. Um, so basically, that's what I that's how I use. Um, um, how I set up my lures in my boxes. Uh, I got my shelf all full, so I just bought another one. To start that one, so it'll be my third. Okay, let's see what we got going here. Um, it looks like a round bill here. Um, it's in that chartreuse and black color. It's made by Senshi, I believe. That's what it says. It's that guy right there. Basically, I would think it's probably half ounce, and maybe three quarter of an ounce. It doesn't really say on here. Um, I was thinking I'm going to take this one out of the color, out of the box. So it's that guy right there. I'm not sure. This might have been a double from last time. Then we got some more hooks. Never have enough hooks. These are again three odd offset. The ultra lock lights. Again, these are made by Mustad. I use some Mustad, but basically I use uh, mostly um, Katana, which I'm on their pro staff. Um, let's see here. Here we go. We got another. Um, why did it, two different? Oh, I see. Different. Um, the blade bait. One blade bait was called Gilly Perch. Now this one is made by blade or by the. What is it called again? Ah, uh, where is that? The Bait Brigade, and this one is actually, what does it say here? Three-eighths of an ounce, um, one and a half inch. This is Gilly Perch. Um, I'll take that one out of there.
this little guy. I'll definitely use that. I mean, it seems like something that would really be that really um, work well in the lakes that I fish around here. And looks like we got an assortment of um, soft plastics again. Uh, these are actually floaters. Um, six inch tournament worms, uh, watermelon red. This is uh, per made by Producto. I use, actually use these quite a bit. What's nice about the Producto is they, on the back is they, they show the setups. If you ever never had done like a um, Ned setup or a Texas rig, that type of thing, it shows the how to, how to rig it on the back of the package. I'll take it out of here and I'll show you. There you go, lures falling all over the place. Um, it's kind of more, I would say it's more of a, yeah, that guy right there. More of that watermelon color, a little bit of root beer in there. Uh, so that take care of that bag. Uh, this one looks like it's, a, again, a six inch um, tournament worm. Uh, looks like it's a black grape. It's that color. Black grape or more of the June bug type of, type appearance again, which is always good. Um, and then we got some gamblers. Uh, this one is called Stinger. They don't put the for some reason these gamblers they don't. Um, I don't know why they don't put colors on them. And they're not knockoffs. If I get my troller looking at troller, uh, the guy that trolls me all the time, um, this guy right here. Again, it's more of that pumpkin pumpkin seed or pumpkin and watermelon type color. It smells like garlic. And here again is another June bug. I've probably seen these in the past. I think. This guy right here. You're gonna get some duplicates, I guess. You know, it's. Uh, so let's see what we have in the box here today. We got one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. I got one on the floor. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17 pieces in here today. So, you know, I'm just at the crossroads. Like I said, um, I want to show you the right right box. Um, I hope they get their marketing strategy uh, done a little nicer. I would like to see a little nicer box come through. I know they come out of the box. You put them in your tackle trays or your tackle box. Um, but I like to present to my viewers uh, the product that they actually have on their website. Um, so I'm getting, you know, check them out. I guess they're, I think they're running like a 15% on um, a year uh, subscription. I think it's like um, 39.99, I believe. Um, so you want to check that out and give them a chance. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep on going here for another month to see what happens. Um, again, you know, I can't complain. I mean, they sent me five boxes of stuff here. So, um, so yeah, let's um, put that down. Uh, one more thing, I don't know if you can see on my hat here. Um, what hat do I even have on here? Uh, yeah, it's called Fish Monkey. Um, I never show anybody my my head without my uh, my hat without a hat on. I'm bald, so I'm kind of uh, inse very insecure about that. Um, so I might edit it out. <laughs> um, I was named to the pro staff of a company called I don't know if you heard it heard it or not. It's called Fish Monkey. Um, they pretty much have um, basically all gloves, um, fishing gloves mainly um, for cold water, hot, uh, warm water, UV protected, um, just mainly general um, purpose work gloves, um, liners, they got all kinds of stuff. Um, basically I got the hat and they sent me the hat, the glove, I got, they're sending me a t-shirt. So um, the reason why I kind of was looking at them a little bit is they, um, 
The gloves seem like they're a little heavier than the other companies I was using. I'm not. I'm not saying I'm not going to use theirs. Um, and I like the stubbies. I don't like the long, the long uh, type type glove. I like the stubbies. And um, here, here's what they look like. Um, here's what their package looks like. So go check them out. The only thing I see right now that they're low on. That's why I haven't got my t-shirt yet. Our t-shirts. The UV protected and the short, long sleeve and the short sleeve. Uh, let's. These are large. If your hands are even small, I would even think about going up to an extra, extra size. I know that my hands are small. Even a medium wouldn't, wouldn't fit for me. Uh, let's get this out of here. Pardon me one second here. All right. Make them childproof. This is what they look like. These are more of the, the red camel that they sent me. And what's nice on the on the back is the they have that sticky kind of like that um oh, that tool rubber that they put you can put on rub on tools or rubber dip type thing and that's what they put on the butt the back with the monkey so like I said you know, you know you don't have no velcro just slip them on and you're ready to roll and these are all finger cut and you can get their um, they have uh, let's see here get a pack or think a holder to hold all your gloves in you get those so these are large my hands are small um, so you can kind of see how they fit on mine so I would I would suggest going up to a, not one other one bigger size um, and they come all different colors I see that they have the, this this particular style um, it comes in um, red white and blue blue gray camel blue camel regular camo and it looks like a different type of red um, so yeah if you want to go and check them out I can't wait to get, get on the water and give these a shot um, so basically yeah that takes care of the lucky tackle box uh, for the month of March um, it took five, five five boxes to get get the one right um, so again I you know I don't know I'm trying to keep this as professional I can you know I don't want to show you a product and not kind of give you a a little bit of rundown what I'm what I'm feeling or what's 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 happening with the company. If anybody yeah, if anybody is um, having a problem with Lucky Tackle Box or something, they'll leave me the comments and I'll and I'll forward those comments to them. Um, and I see they um, I'm actually on their website website now. Um, it's just the still picture, but um, hopefully the summer I can get some uh, actually. Um, some live video on on their website we'll see if that what happens if I uh, continue that route um, so again yeah um, my tournament series my tournament for the supposed to be in two weeks is now um, not going to happen because of they're, they're having the tournament Easter Sunday um, I don't get it um, but uh, I'll be on the, the water next week and probably in this that point forward to be all fishing videos um, again Probably again, if I stay with Lucky Tackle Box, it'll be just that box. Uh, be no no longer any any other type of box. I I don't do any other boxes or um, just new. When I get a new product in like this, I'll do that to show you the product, uh, the products that I'm on their their pro staff. But other than that, um, that should probably take care of the the video for today. Um, again, uh, if you're out there fishing this time of the year, be careful. Water's still very cold, especially by me. The ice just went out. Um, Gonna be very careful, of course. And um, if you're down south fishing tournaments, good luck. And um, until next time, practice catch and release. And happy Easter. Bye.